This is Jill Tarter from the SETI Institute. She looks for aliens, and she's been introduced that way about a billion times. <laughs> Either that or the other Jodie Foster. Oh uh, yeah, right. Yeah, which you still deny. Which I I know you deny. You can deny it all you want, but uh, you know, if people are going to think what they want to think. But she does work at the SETI Institute, and they just put together the Allen Telescope Array. And I don't even know if I can get far enough back to show this, but Paul Allen from Microsoft gave them quite a bit of money to build an antenna farm of these guys. How big are they? 20 feet, 6.1 6 meters. Wow, and how many of them do you have working? We got 42, right? <laughs> of course. 42, <laughs> and another 308 to go. Wow. But I have to find funding for the other 308 because although Paul paid for the technology development in this first phase of construction, he wants partners to finish it. So if you're rich and listening to this on YouTube, there send you your go. money to SETI. But Jill was just telling me that they have their first observations. In fact, this is the Andromeda galaxy as seen in the light of hydrogen. You can see that ring there of material around the disk. That's a pretty big picture. That's, um, oh, two and a half degrees across? So, I don't know, roughly, you know, two fingers width on the sky, something like that. That's not bad. But there were same, targets in here. It's the same scale here. as the PanStars image. Oh, that's up. The yeah, there's a huge Andromeda galaxy picture. But the stars represent targets that they're looking for, for signs of life. And you can see here and here and here. But these are not stars in Andromeda. These are stars in our own galaxy that we're looking for to see if there's any life there. Great. But is there any life there on Saturday night? That's the big question. Yeah, That's... well, I mean, uh, are we, are, it was interesting to listen to Mr. Golden's talk this, I mean, this. <laughs> oh my, oh, I have that on yeah. tape. <laughs> Mr. Griffin's talk this morning. <laughs> where, you know, apparently SETI may no longer be the four-letter S word, but you can't say it, that's at headquarters. Oh, really? Okay. Well, he did mention that he had a personal interest in that's true, finding he did. habitable worlds by asking whether there's any life out there and whether any of it might be... And he, no, he said cognizant, cognitive, something like that. Um, anyway. Almost said it. Computationally capable. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and he was talking about the... Um, uh, that was just sim mission he, and he chided and, us all for getting sim right but that was still uh, he still likes the idea of looking for planets and that's what Jill does and with uh, our mutual friend Seth Shostak who's not here but I'll, I'll mock him for that at some other time thank you Jill it's fun to talk to you Bill